Good morning and g'day mate and welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jitty. It's um technically sunrise, but we're, we're working on the poles. The, the, the sun does weird things. It doesn't go up, it goes sideways. Uh, yes, uh, today's episode. Today's episode, we are, well, yesterday's episode. Let's start with yesterday's episode. So, yesterday's episode, we did a few things. Uh, we went and uh, fully colonized uh, West, ooh, West, uh, West Husen, Western Ho West Husen. Uh, we covered the whole planet in miners and uh, planetary towers. I can't remember what they're called. In inter interstellar logistic towers. Interstellar logistic towers. So every bit of ore on that planet is now accessible to us. At the same time, we set up one little bit of automation, tiny, 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 tiny little bit over here uh, to bring in, well, to start making the frame material. So the frame material, uh, we are running short on carbon nanotubes, which looks like the belt's been disconnected. Good job, Jamie. Good job. Uh, that was disconnected a very, very long time ago and hasn't done anything since. Uh, you did well, Jenny. You did awesome. Uh, you should be fine. Uh, so, once that's plugged back in... Yep, the whole stockpile's empty. Cool. Uh, once that's plugged it back in, uh, that's up and running. So, today's episode. Today's episode, the plan is to get strange matter. It has to be strange. Can't be normal. It has to be strange. I'm Dr. Stephen Strange. I need you to come with me. We need some strange strange matter. At the same time, we need to cancel that research and let science buffer up. Uh, we need to get such a strange matter. Strange matter will then unlock for us the gravitation lenses. Gravitation lenses will unlock the space warper. The space warper will let us uh, duck off to other planets because we have done some research. Uh, let's swap to North View. Yep, North View. Okay. Uh, we have done a little bit of research and we can now see on close stars. Those are stars within six light years. We can see what sort of resources they have. So we have Lota Hydrae here, which has nothing. Uh, we have Core Terini, which has, well, all the normal resources, plus fire ice, plus optical grading crystal. We're looking for two rare resources, two super critical rare resources to get us up and running. Um, they're the two easiest to get. They're also, in my book, the most important ones. We are looking for, and I've already marked one of them, uh, organic crystal. And the other one we're looking for is acid. Now, um, stars within six light years is that one, uh, that one. Uh, that, no, that's, uh, that's six and a touch light years away. Um, that's eight light years. Uh, that's seven light years. That star. Uh, now it is six light years from where Icarus is standing. So if I fly out to this station, uh, this star, I can then see probably this star because those two are reasonably close to one another. So we need to basically this episode go out and grab organic crystal they're gonna be super important to us but it also means not only do we need to warp we also need to have the interplanetary vessels warp so first things first we need to start make making strange banner strange banner requires pink thingies uh deuterium and some iron uh good news is you have a free port where we can bring in pink thingies uh just a tiny bit i don't need a heap i just want a little bit of them uh local demand bump 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 uh, which we can now bring pink thingies out of that one. And, well, actually, we're just going to go diagonally across the map, because why not? Uh, we need to hook this into the deuterium belt, uh, which is right there. Uh, we need to run that belt down. That'll do us. Uh, for the pink thingies, actually, we're going to run that belt up to there we'll, we'll put these two belts together okay strange banner also requires some iron uh i don't have any iron here but i do have magnets so that means technically we have some spare iron ore um which i'm just gonna leech off i'm perfectly honest i have no idea if this will support things long run uh, long term but it'll do for right now we could start importing um iron ore to get things up and running but I honestly don't want the hassle yet. I just want to be able to get this up and running. And I also eventually... Uh, I'm out of sorters. I want to eventually um, have this planet clear of, of uh, resources. Because 
we're gonna eventually I don't know when exactly but we will be rebuilding this planet from scratch like once this copper ore is gone finally uh, which it's not mining out fast enough once again once this copper ore patch is gone finally I can finally start making tier 3 sorters otherwise I'd be using them all the time now but you know the little shippies are in the way because this miners in the way because the ore won't go away um, yeah um, so yeah once we get rid of the last of the ore on this planet we can easily, and I feel less guilty about building over certain things. Uh, okay, so, smelters. Uh, this is a green belt. I have no idea if it runs a green belt speed, but that's three, that's six, that's nine, that's twelve. Cool. Uh, bump, bump. Uh, you can have all the iron ore that somehow got itself in my inventory. Cool. Uh, power pole there, there, and there. Uh... Technically, I probably want the belt running that way. Uh, it's fine. Uh, and then we want to put this belt on the other side of Particle Collider. Now, a Particle Collider machine uh, looks like a giant UFO. It looks like a giant UFO parked itself on top of a building uh, with its sm slightly smaller friend, with its slightly smaller friend. I have no idea why the devs chose this art as to represent a Particle Collider. Um, maybe they're shooting the particles around in the top. I don't know, but it is what it is. This is the miniature particle glider. Uh, it, it looks ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, that's fine. That's fine. It's a video game. Uh, I can move on. So, we're going to import our, our deuterium, our particle containers, our iron, and that should output our strange matter right there. We're going to drag this along. Now, I have pre-crafted six of these six of these uh so we're just gonna build six of them um i don't think i need six of them but having six probably wouldn't hurt uh okay and two more there and there now we can cut that belt that belt that belt that belt thanks okay uh now there's no luck in getting oh wow there is luck oh Try that again. Minus? Plus? Alright. Okay. Due to the curvature of the planet at this point, uh, it turns out I can sometimes get power poles in the middle. Uh, at least they're there and there, but not between these two. I wonder if that's... Ooh. Actually, now I'm curious. Go away, go away, go away, go away, away. Okay. Let's grab you. Let's manually place you. Yes! If I manually place them rather than the click and drag, they fit together a little bit closer. And now I can't get power poles in. Okay. Uh, we're just going to go with whatever build. It really doesn't matter. Uh, we just need to power them all up. Uh, we need to set the recipe to make strange matter. They only make two... Th well, for right now, <clears throat> they only make two things. One is strange matter. One is deuterium. Now, they use f uh, 10 hydrogen... To make five deuterium and on top of that uh let's look at this one these 12 megawatts worth of power uh this is why another thing we did last episode is set up a small power plant um just an itty bitty one around the the, the southern pole uh um and and that is just bringing in hydrogen from our local gas giant uh, there and basically providing us free power forever uh, so we don't really worry the fact that they use a ridiculous amount of power but in saying that um, for making deuterium uh, they consume so if we go back to the recipe they consume twice the amount of resources for so 10 hydrogen to make 5 deuterium and a lot of power or you do as I did up here and just put down a lot of fractionates, like a lot of fractionates. Um, frankly, less space and less power demands to put down the fractionators. On top of that, they have a one-to-one. -one. Um, it's one hydrogen for one fractionator out. Uh, yeah, so that's that build done. Uh, you guys are happy. You guys are putting out strange matter. Strange matter, we are going to convert into... Uh, we have absolutely no use for it. Uh, it's going to go straight into the graviton, uh, gravitational graviton, graviton lens. Okay, graviton lens also requires diamond. Uh, 
So we need to grab some diamond. Conveniently, we happen to have a bit of coal here and a bit of coal here. Now, the good news is, because we've put in that ridiculous power plant, we can now go goodbye and goodbye, because even if they're in our way, they don't really affect us anymore. Um, we have enough power elsewhere, so I need to go get miners, because it turns out after uh, running miners over a whole planet, there ain't a lot of miners left in your inventory. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Stack of 20 should do, it, do me. Uh, and I'm not looking at the vein count for the miners, so I'm just going to go with uh, probably overkill, but that's fine. Technically, I should probably have uh, two lanes of coal into uh, a full lane of energy graphene into a full, well, a lot of diamonds. Uh, but again, I just, we're, we're, we're not worried about ratios or scale at this point. Well, we are worried about scale, but we're not worried about ratios at this point. We just want to get things sort of running. Uh, we will work out the finer details like ratios in the future when things matter. At the moment, anything that is excess production is perfectly fine because chances are we're going to find out, uh, find a use for it in the future. Uh, power, 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 more power poles. Uh, that'll hook it into the power grid. Uh, same time, we will grab that plus that, uh, plus that one, and that one, and that one. Okay, power there, there, and I spaced the power poles a little bit too far apart. Cool. That gives us a belt of diamonds. Okay, belt of diamonds. We're going to go, well, actually, we shouldn't ruin the habit now. Uh, we, we are going to go in uh, with a dead straight belt from out of building range. Yeah, that's still frustrating. Uh, okay, up over solar, hit tab to get a dead straight belt, and we need to bring it to about here somewhere. Uh, and now the bots are semi-fast enough that they can keep up with me. Uh, okay, so we need to get our strange manor plus our uh, diamonds into a belt. And that's me out of belts. Okay, so in that case, I'll put in a cut. I'll see you guys in half a second after the bots get all this built. And I go get some more belts. Okay, so we have our two raw materials. We are now going to make some lenses. Now, the lenses have a couple of uses. Uh, one of them is to make warpers. Um, now, this is not the most efficient way to make warpers. The actual most efficient way is to use green science to turn into warpers. But I don't have green science yet. We haven't unlocked that feature yet. It's still hidden in the tech tree. Uh, but that's okay. We can move on and we can get some of these running, which are going to output to the top belt. Come on, bots. Excellent. Okay, so that'll pop those down. Uh, and the other thing we can do is we can put them in the ray receivers, which again, we haven't played with this series so far. Um, they are the magic, magic things that receive power from your Dyson Sphere or Dyson Swarm. Again, haven't played with them at all. Uh, the other thing that they can do is they're actually used in green sites. Okay, so I need to put one of those there with a new belt from there to... Um, I feel like that build's too big. You know what? Uh, we shall... F oh, no. No, it's running. Okay. Uh, okay, here I want to start making warp cores. Okay? Warp cores are going to be critically important. Uh, we're going to have a belt from there, into there, into there. And it is one graviton lens, 10 seconds, one warper comes out. Not terribly efficient, but um, it's a start. And that's what we care about. We we care about starting to get uh, warp technology. We are perfecting it. Whole different story. Just, just start getting it. Uh, I'd be happy with that. Okay, we're going to want a handy dandy tower. We're going to pop that right there. We are going to take our Graviton lenses, put them in there. We're going to take our Warpers and put them in there. At the same time, we're going to take all the Strange Manor uh, and pop it in there as well. That way it's all accessible. We want to set you to be uh, Strange Manor plus Graviton lenses 
plus warpers, uh, plus power. Uh, there, 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 and there, which is a bit of a shame because I'm about to do, well, that to there, and then find some more foundation, and drag that all the way to basically the edge, because at the moment the graviton lenses don't do any good for me as graviton lenses. They do much better things for me as warpers. So, that should get us some strange matter. Yes, it should get us some uh, gravity lenses. Yes, and it should also get us some warpers. Warpers go in, warpers... It's flicking, it's flicking, it's, it's not counting up, it's meant to count up. Uh, I also need to put drones in there, and I'll need the, the big drones eventually. Uh, okay, so, uh, to let you guys in on a little secret, uh, these towers have a buffer of 50 of warpers that they use personally uh, for the actual ships. The catch is, um, I don't have the technology unlocked, so I can't see the warpers, so they disappear into an inventory slot right about here, or maybe it's over here, I can't remember, um, that I can't see, which is silly, and something that I only found out the other day when I was streaming the game, because, um, yes, I, I streamed Dyson Sphere over on Twitch, it's, it's a save adjacent to this YouTube series, um, so if you want to see some of the behind the scenes, some of the sitting and doing outposting for an hour plus, or you just want to chat with me live, um, by all means, swing by Twitch, link is down in the description below, and come say hi, and we can chat about, well, life, the world, and everything else. Uh, meanwhile, we have warpers, so we have warp technology for us, so over here, some time ago, some, some, some serious time ago, unlock the technology for space warpers, so I'm going to take my first, well, 70, take the whole lot, uh, we're going to put those in that slot. I can only fit 20 at a time, but that's okay. And, and now we have the power to warp, which is great because the very first thing we're going to do is warp straight into the sun. Uh, actually, attack it too. Sure. Yes, warps. Warps are awesome. Uh, the catch is, I don't have a lot of power. Um, as you saw, that was a very, very short warp across our system, and I used like a quarter of my battery. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've also lost our home planet. Where's our home planet? Oh, there it is. Okay, so, uh, we'll call that like 80% power. I need to accelerate up. Uh, we'll call that like 75% power. Aim for that, hit the wall button, and, um... Oof. Yes. Okay, can we have a graceful landing, please? Graceful. Graceful. Grace. Great, great, grace. Grace, grace. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Hey, graceful landing. I don't have to put in a crash scene. Uh, sorry, I, I, I'm in a superhero landing. Um, okay, so we have warpers. We have the power to warp. Okay, the catch is uh, logistics carrier engine. Our ships can't warp. That is another thousand packs. Now, our science. Our science is going a little bit slow. It's got a few small problems, uh, mainly with my oil build. My oil build was built big enough for red science, big enough to do a little bit of the next sciences. Um, but obviously not big enough to handle everything. Uh, or well, big enough to definitely do to do yellow science, but um, not big enough to do yellow and purple at the same time. So we are bringing in oil. Oil is going great. It's going handy. Uh, we have lots of oil. In fact, we have oil and oil and oil in the tanks. It's heading down these two lanes. Um, sorry, it's night time, but I just want to get through this quickly. We're making acid. Acid is going fine, providing I have enough, well... Uh, belts. Providing I have enough stone, which I should now do. Uh, we're making acid. That's not an issue, okay? Over here, we're making plastic. Plastic has all its resources. The catch is, for every bit of plastic we're outputting, it's being turned into an organic crystal, and then going here into yellow science. So it's only if a machine happens to be backed up, like this last one on the end, it doesn't really run because there's crystal in the way. It means we have just one machine. One machine. One machine is making plastic, and 
plastic needs to pass through here, pop out here, go in here, one bit of plastic turns into one particle broadband, one particle broadband goes in here, one particle broadband then gets flown all the way over here to be fed into one lab to make one science. So, I have a research we need to do. It is the logistic carrier engine, which requires a thousand, a thousand information matrix, uh, which means it needs a thousand bits of plastic. And I don't have a thousand bits of plastic. So, we need to set up some new... Uh, we need to go and conquer a new planet. A new planet with new warpers to go get uh, some of that organic crystal, which will then just save me uh, all the time in the world. I do not want... Okay, so I don't want blue belt. Dump that back. Uh, I'll take... You know what? We're going to dump the green belt as well. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab all the miners. And I probably don't have enough uh, power poles. No, I definitely do not have enough power poles stacked up. So we're going to grab all of those, plus the nine in there, plus that one. And is there anything else we need? Uh, one of them. Yes, got one of them. Uh, I also don't need warpers and I don't need ships. And I'll explain why, well, we, we, no, actually, I'll explain why when we get there. Uh, we have power poles. Okay, power poles, having 20 is probably not enough. Let's grab 100. We have some wireless power towers to recharge our souls if times get desperate. Oh, power. Power would be awesome because, yes, we've burnt through most of that. So, we should have lots of power. Let's take, like, 90. Cool. Uh... Alright, so we have lots of power, we have warpers, we have everything ready to go. We are going to head over to uh, one of these two planets. Now, I have stars. I've pinned them both because this one has organic crystals, plus it has fire ice and hydrogen. I'd love fire ice. Uh, and this one has organic crystal, plus it has spiniform. Now, spiniform lets us make... Uh, carbon nanotubes very very cheaply it has fire ice as well but this icon compared to this icon this means it comes from a gas giant this means it comes from ore on the ground so we're actually going to go over here um now the other item i really really wanted was sulfuric acid but we're out of luck we're out of luck uh we can actually zoom to that planet we can see how the planet is set up so we can see that well we only have three choices. So, we have... You has... No. You have... It doesn't tell me. Apart from water. Uh, you have... It doesn't tell me. But you're a... Uh, I can tell by the planet type. Icefield. Icefield is definitely not going to have organic crystals. Because uh, it's icy. So, we need to go to that one. At the same time, you have our fire ice. So, let's actually grab our gas collectors... And I will cover what I can of that plant, uh, that gas giant with gas collected at the same time, which is going to be 15. Okay. Uh, anything else we want to grab? Miners, tower. I want more belts, honestly. I want a lot more belts. Like, I've now decided you get to have all the belts. Um, okay. So, with that said, we need to go that direction. And I don't need to accelerate that fast. I just have to get out of the planet's orbit, line things up, and hit the button, and off we go. And we have an ETA of 22 seconds. That's not too bad, uh, providing my power holds out. Now, they, the devs did add an option, so you can press S to slow down in warp now, along with shift to speed up. Honestly, the faster you can walk, the more energy efficient it is. Uh, so I'm not going to slow down, because I'd like to get there in one hit, rather than run out of power midway between galaxies and have to sit there and slowly recharge by burning fuel. Uh, okay, we need to rotate with the R button, uh, or the Q button. Uh, that one, that little dot there. That little dot there, and pop! And in for landing. Perfect. Okay, so we're now on a new system miles and miles and miles away from home. And the first thing I want to do is I want to check this and we have 2 million organic crystals. And if we scroll around the planet, I have exactly 2 million organic crystals right there. So, 
First thing we need to do is find out exactly where that is and set up some miners. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not too worried. As long as I cover every single node, I'm happy. Next thing we need to do is put down a tower. And I want to aim to have these roughly on the equator. Where the hell is the equator? That's getting narrower. It's this way, somewhere. It's right there, right? Yes, okay, so that's the equator right there. Um, I just put them on the equator because, in theory, half the resources are going to be above, half the resources are going to be low, uh, below, so it's easy to get things on the equator. Uh, at the same time, we might notice there's lots of oil on this planet, amongst other things. Uh, so we're going to tag that belt into there, that belt into there, that into there, that into there. Uh... It's, it's, it's building an outpost, or building a mine. Like, you know, we've, we've done this a thousand times on our own planet, so there's not much to see, except uh, this one will be slightly different, because we're going to power up this with wind turbines, because that's the power method I brought with me. I do have solar panels, okay? Don't get me wrong. And this planet is 110 for wind and 90% for solar. Uh, so wind is probably the preferred, but... At the end of the day, um, even if wind is horrible, wind works as power poles that I can drag around the map from patch to patch to patch, which makes a massive difference. Okay, we need to go to there. I need to set you to be able to accept organic crystals. And I didn't bring any green belt. I was meant to bring a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do then is, as organic crystals is the main thing we're here for, I'm going to run a second belt. Because I only need... I want all the organic crystals. Um, I'm not going to bother getting oil or anything else whilst I'm here. Well, that's sort of a lie. I'm going to kill some time. I'm going to kill some time whilst we're here. Because I want to carry home a lot of organic crystals with me. Like, a lot, a lot of them. At the same time, I actually don't need to put power into this tower. Because when a ship leaves any planet with warpers, it flies... Or even without warpers... It has enough power, and it carries two warpers with it, to fly here, pick up cargo, and then uh, use one warper to fly here, pick up the cargo, and has enough power and a spare warper to fly all the way home. So I don't have to power up this tower, which is great, because these things use a crap ton of power, whereas I've powered up all this with, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six wind turbines. Okay, so that's not quite running at full speed, but it's probably good enough. Uh, okay, we're going to max this out. I'm going to put in a cut. I'll see you guys in a little bit. A little bit uh, because I am going to be uh, waiting for this to have a fair bit of organic crystals in it before we head home. Because I'm carrying some home with me. Like, a lot home with me. Because... For every one organic crystal I bring home, it's one plastic that I basically get for free because I don't need to waste my plastic making organic crystals. So yes, whilst I'm here, I'm just going to outpost because why not? Um, I don't really have anything else to do. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So, welcome back to Sunrise on our beautiful brand new planet. And um, we're going to head home. We, we, we've done all we needed to do. I, I hooked up some coal. I hooked up some... Silicon, just because we were here. I threw down more wind turbines. Again, purely because we were here and I had time to kill. I also went off to our ice giant and covered it with its gas collectors. And um, as you can see, I have 10,000 organic crystal ready to go. Catch is, I still don't have ships that can walk back and forth. So, in boxes, we're going to dump some belts. Uh, we're going to dump some miners. We're going to dump some power. Uh, we're going to dump some solar because I have... Oh, uh, I have no need for the solar. Uh, we're going to dump... What else? Uh, landfill. I'll probably come back and use some landfill. Uh, we're going to dump some power poles. Uh, resort that. Uh, is there anything else I'd like to get rid of? Um, no, that's about it. Um, okay. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select everything. And dump up my inventory and put what I can back. So I have about 5,000. About 5,000 organic crystal in my inventory. Which is great. Because we're now going to go home. 
Uh, and I'm going to take 5,000 uh, organic crystal with me. Now, I can... Actually, you know what? We might cheat and we might take some extra. Uh, we're going to go back to the home world. Uh, I am fully charged. You can actually carry infinite amounts of items in your hand, like so. Uh, just, you can't put them down. So, well, I guess now you can put them down. Uh, because of the recent changes, you can actually put them down absolutely anywhere. Um, it is going to make flying a little bit more difficult. Um, it's like trying to, trying to drive with a cup of coffee in your hand, because I actually have no idea where my pointer is. Uh, so... We're going to head up to warp speed. Uh, we're going to duck home real quick. And I'll see you guys in, well, we know it's about a 30 second flight time. Uh, tab? Oh, there we go. Uh, nope, that puts it straight back. Oh, cool. Uh, we're just going to aim that way and hope for the best. Yeah, what could go wrong? Uh, I could mix, miss the start entirely. Okay, we're going to try our best to use the reticle in front of us, which doesn't seem... Oh. No, that looks okay. Uh, point is that way. Uh, uh. That way. I'm literally flying blind. That's okay. We found it. Okay, home we go. landing with all the grace we're accustomed to. Okay, so I have 5,000 crystals in my hand. Uh, obviously, I'd like to dump them somewhere. The easiest spot for right now is just dump them into a tower, okay? Uh, that's not their final resting spot. Their final resting spot is going to be... Uh, hopefully, right about here. Uh, so if I get rid of that, and I get rid of that, which won't fit my inventory because my inventory is chockers, uh, I should be able to put that there and set you to organic crystal select the whole 5000 dump that in there uh, suck up the two wind turbines there we go uh, I don't have any belts on me because I left all my belts back there uh, where are we I need some belts we'll go with mark 2 because why not uh, and it should be a case of take our organic crystals uh, at night time, I apologize. Uh, output them to that tile. And then bring them straight down and into that tile. Which means I should be able to, after you start outputting organic crystal, cut off all this production. It actually means I'm going to change the recipe on each one of these to plastic. Because we're not going to make organic crystal ever again here. Uh, we're going to use that organic crystal, plus that little bit that's in my inventory, plus that tower had 5,400 in there, which we're also going to dump in there. I still have 350 left over. Uh, okay, we need to put down a box, like so. Uh, just, oh, I have one bit of belt. Uh, I need the Mark II belt, please. Mark II belt, uh, there. Uh, force that into that tower, dump the organic crystal in there, have you output like so, give you a single... I don't have power poles, that's right, I don't have anything because I dumped it all, wind turbine it is. Okay, it also means that I can now uh, do two very important things. One is going to be uh, pick up some ships and uh, power poles, turns out they're really important. Go to here, I can put in the ships that I know I definitely picked up. There they are. Uh, set you to remote demand, which would only help if I had warpers. We can now also set you to have a local demand of warpers, which are actually being shipped over here, which is awesome. Uh, the catch is the ships don't know how to use them. But I did cancel research, so hopefully we have a thousand purple packs ready to go. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Um, but we do have the ability now of all the plastic that we are making is now actually going to where it belongs. On top of that, we can remove those guys. 
uh, and I can work out how to get a splitter in here. Uh, that tile? That tile should work. Uh, no, wrong type of splitter. Uh, splitter, short and stumpy one, please. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh. Okay. Uh, split up back a tile. I don't think, yeah, I didn't think you could make that. Uh. It's not cheating. It's just uh, a, a belt that curves at not ground level. Uh, uh, not a flat level. Okay, so that should give us uh, coal in there. Uh, which is the only thing we needed to add to change that over a plastic line. Also, let me put the coal back in there, which also keeps that system running. And uh, we have... What the hell is that? That is... Oh, that's plastic. Oh. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I apologize. I need to actually grab that plastic. Thank you. Uh, that plastic needs to go in to that belt. Cool. That just doubled our plastic. Now, ideally, I'd love to double my acid at the same time and swap uh, or get, remove the acid system as well, uh, which we will do. It's just not going to be today. Today, I think... Um, well, I think we're done. I think we've done all we're going to get done for this episode. Um, we now have the ability to start warping things over, and now we have plastic coming at a decent rate. I think it's going to keep up... Well... Maybe it'll keep up. Possibly it'll keep up. Uh, do I, have, I have 50 plastic in my inventory. Can I craft plastic? Oh, that'll be wishful thinking. Uh, okay, put the plastic in there. Uh, take all the water, dump it on the ground. Take all, all of that, dump it on the ground. Take the few organic crystals I've got, dump them in there. But um, we've got 10,000 organic crystals. That is going to be... Uh, one crystal for one titanium, oh, one organic crystal for one titanium crystal, one titanium crystal for one yellow science. I have 10,000 yellow science done. Like, it, I have the materials for it. So, I don't have to worry about that problem anymore. It also means that, uh, it means this research is definitely going to finish, and then ships will now have charge and they'll be able to fly across there and pick up our organic crystal bring it back here for nothing now i forgot to look at it or forgot to show you guys be more exact uh last episode uh whilst we're still back on our planet but i did as we we're over here uh i was within six light years of a couple of these systems calf which now if i look at i see nothing but a a, a, a bright blue bee star happens to have sulfuric acid um so between episodes i am going to be crafting um well a lot of those uh after i find some brick and some engines i'm going to go craft a lot of uh water pumps and we'll probably start next episode on uh calf um pumping up acid with water pumps don't question it it's a thing uh but yes, um, they're one of the few things I don't automate because, let's be honest, you don't really need that many of them. Um, after you tap acid on an acid planet and potentially water on, well, your home planet or maybe a secondary planet, uh, you never, ever, ever, ever need a water pump again. Uh, they're sort of a bit useless. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to call this episode here... Um, it was an important episode. We got a lot done. Uh, we got warpers up and running. We can now use warpers. We can now freight in uh, lots of things. And if I find out where this engine build is right here, I can grab all the engines I need for uh, visiting distant worlds. Uh, that's 20 pumps already. Yeah, 20 pumps already. Uh, we're going to have plenty of plump pumps, which means then we can bring in acid next episode, which means I can retrofit more of the oil. Uh, that is going to be a lot of pumps. 17. Sure. Sure. 
Okay, so with that said, uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you're enjoying this series. Next episode, as I said, we'll start with Acid. And then, where am I looking for? I'm looking for... Over there. Uh, next episode, we'll start with Acid. Actually, we're down to 300 packs. We're down to 300 packs needed. Uh, that buffer is... Okay, the belt buffer is empty, so it's going to start to slow down. Um, so yeah, next episode, we're going to start with warpers up and running. Uh, and ships being able to warp. Oh, oh, same time, we're going to start off on the acid planet. Um, but it also means that now, uh, with those sorted, we can look at this little group of technology here. The high strength glass, the cashmere crystals, uh, which I know I can't pronounce. It's fine. Um, we, we, we went through this with the first season. I couldn't pronounce it then. I still can't pronounce it now. Uh, the wave function interference to give us the quantum chips to finally get the other item of the recipe for green, the gravity matrix. Uh, I need to get the gravity matrix. So the big goals we still have is I need to have gravity matrix up and running to make warpers. I need a lot of warpers for our final goal. On top of that, we need to get the vertical uh, launching silo, start unlocking the Dyson Sphere stress system, uh, and then unlock all the way up to the artificial stars. Um, so we still have a fair bit of research to go. We've got rockets to build. We've got a Dyson, a Dyson frame start to start building so that there's still a fair bit of stuff that we need to knock over um but yes next episode we should have at least our second rare resource and at the same time i'm hoping uh i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping uh we might even be able to get out here and go visit uh this this planet uh, or this star um for the or spin form stagmite crystals, which is going to again simplify our oil process. Oh, actually, by the way, I should have done this already. Uh, we're going to oh caps lock. Uh, I'm going to also name that star. That star is Snakes Games, uh, who is a wonderful member. Also joined uh, the YouTube membership program. Uh, been very very polite and. Uh, bought some absolution from ad blocker so thank you very much sir also on the the giant super expensive one dollar tier but as i said everything helps everything helps um these videos get you know 500 plus views if i had 500 people pledge one dollar a month uh it, it's it's more than i get from youtube ad revenue for multiple videos well 10 videos 10 videos a week roughly uh yeah yeah uh so thank you guys so much for as I said, we're, we're taking names of different people who either support via Patreon or via YouTube. Uh, and I'm going from the newest first. So we're working our way forward, backward, left, right, whatever it happens to be. Um, so yeah, thank you, Snakes. And I think next episode, we're going to take some Patreon names and start naming some planets. With all that said, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you guys in the very next episode. All right, bye.